Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be at. Why do men, you know, date or prefer foreign women? Why do men date or prefer foreign women? I can't say why every man, I can't generalize and speak for every man in the world and why he dates or prefers foreign women. But I will speak for myself. First and foremost, I don't prefer any nationality. I don't prefer any country or continent specific uh, gender of, of women. I like women. I don't care if she was born in an igloo. I don't care if she was born in, in Antarctica. I, I, I like women. But the preference for the preference at times for foreign women is based off of a, a few things. I don't think you have to deal with the the attitudes, and I don't think you have to deal with uh, the drama. I don't think you have to deal with the diverse range of personality differences. Uh, I, like, like here, like in foreign countries and, 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 and South America and Asia and, and Africa, no matter how financially stable or unstable a person is, they're nice to you. They're kind. The person on the street begging for money is nice to you. They're kind. Right? And, 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 and in, in America, you know, you're dealing with attitudes. I'm talking about a woman can be 375 pounds. <coughs> Look like a sinner for the line of Falcons. Can be huge. Can be, you know, a despicable creature to look at and have an attitude. A woman can, can, can be in America and, and, and work at McDonald's and be flipping burgers, no judgment zone, and, 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 and cleaning, cleaning feces and urine off of toilets and, and Wendy's and have an attitude, you know? But in these foreign countries, no matter where a, a, a woman works, She's, they're nice and, and, and they're kind. I, I can't remember one instance where I came in contact with someone who had an attitude. I'm, I'm taking hookers out of the picture. Let's take hookers out of the picture. Like regular women, they're nice and, and they're kind. Uh, I believe foreign women cherish you more, uh, respect you more. And I, I don't like to use the word cater, you know what I'm saying? But I'll use the word cater because Beyonce said <laughs> said a song about it. It was in the song. Catering to you. Foreign women are, are more likely than not. Uh, regular foreign women are more likely than not going to cater to you. You know, they're going to go out of their way to please you. You know, unlike these are... Uh, <laughs> A lot of these are marrying women where you realistically have to go out of your way to please them. And they're putting zero effort in trying to please you. It's like American women feel like because they have a, a hole between the legs that they're the catch, they're the treasure. They're the treasure box that the pirates have been looking for. No matter what they look like, what size pants they wear, what size shoes they wear, what their face look like, whatever their financial status is, the American women seem like they're the prize. You're lucky to be with them. <laughs> they're doing you a favor. But as foreign women, they understand the mutual aspects of relationships. They understand uh, at times, you know, 
I'm not gonna say I've never had a bad experience, but they understand at times uh, what each person is bringing to the table, right? Because everyone that I'm going to be in a relationship with has to understand that everyone's bringing something to the table. It doesn't necessarily have to be financially, like everyone doesn't have to, you know, be 50-50 or 90-10 or, or 100-0, but everyone has to bring something to the motherfucking table. And I don't think that a lot of American women uh, understand that. A lot of uh, uh, American women believe, in my eyes, that they are the table. American women are believing that they are the table and you have to bring something to them. I'm gonna repeat that. American women believe that they are the table and you have to bring something to them. Whereas in the typical relationship that I am looking for and that some people are looking for, everyone's bringing something to the table. Not just, I'm the table. <laughs> and you bring things to me, you know? That was fucking deep. Golly. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, I've been places and, 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 and people are, people treat me, there are some women that treat you better than you will be treated in the states, and I'm not—I'm not a fool. I'm not a—I'm not a fucking an idiot. I'm not, you know, stupid. But we have to understand that. Let's say a woman is, you know, treating you right because financially, uh, you can be beneficial to them. Right? So I, I don't want to say they're using you, but you are of benefit to them. But here's how the bringing something to the table comes into play. She may think that you are beneficial to, to, to her because of your alleged or assumed financial status. Right? So she thinks, okay, you're bringing finances to the table. But you're with her because of her beautiful. She's beautiful, she's attractive, she's physically appealing. So she's bringing something to the table. Visually, she's bringing something to the table. You may be with her because she has a nice body or a nice breast or nice titties. She's bringing something to the table. You may be with her because the sex is great. She sucks you and fucks you and, 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 and licks your ass. She's bringing something to the table. You may be with her because she can cook. Very good cooker. Cooking international foods, you know, whether it's the local foods where she's from or American food or Chinese food, Japanese food, sushi rolls, whatever. She's bringing something to the table. You may be with her because she wants to bath the water when you get home from work. Maybe you'll be with her because she treats your family and your siblings well. She's bringing something to the table. You may be with her because she massages your back after a long day at work. She's bringing something to the table. Point of the story is Indirectly or directly, everyone is bringing something to the table. Whether it's you and your finances or her and her personality or, or her cooking or her looks or how she cherishes you as, as Beyonce says, everyone is bringing something to the table. But in America, I feel, this is my own personal opinion that American women think that they're the table. They're the fucking table. They are the fucking table. So that's why I, you know, I, uh, I'm not gonna say I prefer, but 
you know, I have interest in, in, in foreign women. I don't want to meet the table. I want to meet someone who's bringing something to the table. Until next time.